Welcome to Rhinos and Aliens. A year. What's going on, everybody? In the 212, in the 716. I mean, you know what I do. Yeah. I'm glad you brought it back around because I did not know. What I was going with, I didn't either. Do you know what the 212 area code is? I mean, what part of the nation? I think it's down south. I want to say somewhere in that. South Carolina, North Carolina facility. Okay, well, as you're doing the intro, I'll fact check you. Yeah, because I don't know for sure. <laughs> but anyway, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Rhinos and Aliens show. This is episode 141. You is rocking with the number one podcast in Western Doom, New York. And it is me, the Don Dada of all Dons. Hello. What's up, bro? And in front of me, you got... Nature boy, nature boy, or guys, we, we Francis, or or that, or white luxurious. <laughs> but we haven't, you know, we haven't been here in a long time, guys. I just want you guys to realize that it's been we we haven't did this in a long time, where it's just me and him. Yeah, it's on camera at least. Yeah, no, I know it's just me and you. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I want you guys to value this moment and um. Take a bow and not, you know, lower, lower your head and uh, counter blessings. I don't, I'm not a spiritual person or, you know, but uh, I just want to say counter blessings every day. A lot of people, we, a lot of people, you know, lose their significant others in multiple, every, multiple occasions in every day. And I just want to say you should be grateful for the people you involve in your life. I won't say who's in your life because a lot of people that I have in my life, can they can go because I really don't give a fuck. But like, I want to say the people that you involve in your life because that means you actually like them and you actually want them to be there. And like, for me, it's my main man right here. I, I want to say I'm, gr- I'm grateful to have you in my life. You know, you and mom. Thank you. I, I'm very... Uh, speechless right now because I did not expect you to go this route. I didn't either, but like I just, you know, I I'm starting to realize, you know, you just gotta take appreciation for certain stuff and certain people, and it's it's taken me, it's it's I don't know, I'm just grateful for it, I guess. You don't have to explain because I know exactly what you're going through right now. Yeah, so. I've been going through that for the most of 2021, so I'm just trying to. Make the most of the time I have with the people I love and care for deeply. Exactly. And because to no faults of your own, you never know for whatever reason why they are no longer in your life in one way or another. So, yeah. So once again, just be grateful for who you involve with yourself with, I should say. Who you evolve yourself with. Yeah. There you go. (laughs) And other than that, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and... Hit that bell. Yeah. And comment below on who you appreciate. If you really want to support us, go check us out on Locals. Yeah, you know. Rhinos and aliens become a part of the swarm and crash. Exactly. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. I got that from uh, 300. You know, the the nice little. 2007. Yeah, yeah. Zach Snyder. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it was cool, bro. I'm like really random today, guys. I'm feeling the emotions because emotions are not rational. Yeah, they're all over the place. Well, just to be the fact checker I am, completely wrong, but in a good way. Nowhere near Southern. Where's the 212? New York City. Why did I know that? But like didn't register in my head. Maybe all the times you go down to New York City, you called somebody with that area code or something. It could be that. So technically, we were wow. still repping the state of New York, even though New York does not deserve repping. But yeah, so that that nice little line of lyrics, it all worked out because we are in the eastern of western of New York. I was about to say eastern western, but like we are in the eastern side of the U.S., yes, yes, specifically exactly. the western of New York. But like exactly, that's what I meant. <laughs> That's exactly what I meant, but it didn't come out the same way. Guys, I'm sorry. I had a long day at work, so I'm like all over the place. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I had a long day at the auto service 
Wait, what's the correct way to put it? I had a long day at the... Plantation? <laughs> <laughs> That's the correct way to fucking say it. <laughs> well, I had to take my car in, and uh, it's one of those, oh, it's only going to take a couple hours, and the couple turned into a few, and... Did you actually get the, the what you needed done? Oh, no, no, I'm still... Or you just went to go get it, like, checked out? No, because I had other stuff that needed to be... I had a leak, and I had one of the pipes that was loose, so it was rattling. Mm. Yeah. So, what did you take care of first? Oh, those two things. The leak and the the rattling pipe. The brakes and... Caliber? No, the what's... Rotor? The rotor I'm waiting on, because technically... You have to wait for those parts and stuff? Yes. Got it, got but it. But to be fair, with the way I drive, how little I drive, and the amount of money I'm going to save, I'm going to wait. Worth. Oh. Yeah. Okay. No, it's worth it, bro. No, no, seriously. Spend $70 on your front brakes and two rotors, or just spend $50 on your brakes. I, I, I'm pretty sure. And if you guys don't know, rotors alone cost 100 plus for both, so... So what are you doing? Just your brakes? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, if I wait to get the parts, yeah. if I get it directly, I'm only spending 70 on everything. Oh, okay. But if I want to get it done right now, I could go to AutoZone and, and spend... buy the parts. Yes, but I'm spending three times the amount. And yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Well, since we're on this car topic, any news? Oh, I don't know exactly... If it's that exact reason. Okay. But I do have to get my brakes bled. I know that for a fact. Did did your mom drained? drained uh, technically is yes. is bled or drained, either way you can say it. Well technically they're both yeah. correct, but car what? people say yeah. bled. Oh they do? Yeah. Wow, that's savage. Yep. Oh. Huh. I you thought they would have said your brakes. I thought they would have said drain because that's less Nope. They say you gotta bleed your brakes. I, I said bled because that's obviously past tense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, I gotta do that. I don't know when I hear that. I feel like we're natives and we're sacrificing one of our people to the gods. Here we go again with the <laughs> oh. <that> big bleed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, by the way, did I tell you one of our videos got a lot of comments? Well, not a lot, but for us, a lot of comments. It was the the ravioli earth. Part with you and Jordan. Hey, Jordan. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, where are you, by the way, bro? Come on, man. Guys, make sure you, you know, go uh, follow Jordan on Facebook at Jordan. I don't know how to say his last name. Snytacky. Snytacky. I don't know how to spell that, but um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> follow my man, Jordan. <laughs> but uh, and, and he's on Instagram, Susaki seven one six. Yeah, so you'll follow him on that too. And what's his friend name? I I keep forgetting his Adrian. Friend name. Adrian. I don't know why I keep forgetting that. But yeah, shout out to you too, my man. Go yeah. follow him too. OG. OG. But how was your day? How was your week? My bad, bro. The past now eighteen straight days have been a shit show. I can totally relate. But I'm... I wouldn't say shit show, but, like, it's a shitty pie, which we're making the best of what's... Which is why it's a pie. Exactly, which is shit. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to make it chocolate, but every time I try to add the sugar, somebody bumps into me and I drop the sugar. Exactly. And then when I'm getting the crust ready and it's looking nice, then a, a, a massive breeze just comes through and completely fucks that up it's like me going to tops to get the the pie crust you know how they got the the made crust oh, the already cr- yes they already got the crust of it and so then you're it's good like somebody bumps me and oh, i and drop, drop it. it and then like a whole bowl of shits in it <laughs> and then it's like and then and then they're like somebody else picks it up and it's like oh you dropped this <laughs> And like, oh, thanks and, for my pie. But they can't smell, so they can't smell that it's shit. Exactly. And then it's like at that moment, I might have COVID, so it's like I can't smell it either. <laughs> so then, so it's now like, you're eating. <laughs> so then I go and put the crust and everything else back on, you know, so scrape it, you know, this little stuff off, and then uh, bake it without washing the crust. No, without no, I'm saying like yeah, I washed the crust and everything off oh, before. Oh, okay. Know? And then I put the 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 other 
ingredients on, ingredients on top of it to make oh, okay. the actual pie. Okay. So then I put it in an oven. I'm just trying to visualize this. That's why. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, and then I put it in an oven. And once again, I still got COVID. You know, I can't smell. So then. You like, actually have COVID or just in the no, hypothetical? I'm saying hypothetical. Oh, okay, okay. I'm about to say, I would not be here if I had COVID. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> or at least I'll have a face mask at least. No. Oh, all right. Well, he obviously doesn't care, but, you know, yeah. For all I know, I've had COVID twice already because I've never been as sick as the two times I have in the past 18 months. So, hey. Probably. Probably. But, yeah, you know, and then I pull the, the pie out and it's like, ooh, let me see what this tastes like. I got COVID. So, it's not like I'm going to taste anything. So, then it's like, hmm. So, wow, you're eating the shit pie when you not think. even know it. Hmm. And once you, and it is not only a regular shit pie; it's a hobo shit pie. You know what the fuck hobos eat? <laughs> they eat other people's shit. <laughs> so, like, whatever is digesting in their system is about to digest in mine. And don't forget the alcohol and drugs. Exactly. <laughs> I could probably get secondhand shit because of them. Think about how much drugs they endure and this coming out their ass. So this leads to a hypothetical of the hypothetical. Since we're on different types of shit, if we were forced to eat shit, you're basically saying you would rather eat shit of a bad bitch or an athlete than a hobo or a druggie. Exactly. Because as much as a, a druggie takes drugs, I'm pretty sure that digests into their shit and pee. Well... Even if it doesn't, well, if he sterilizes. They're gonna have some mushy ass shit, and and that's the worst type of shit to eat. Exactly, exactly. So if this was centipede, the movie centipede, I would not want to be on the the one end of a hobo's ass. <laughs> Spoiler alert: If you have not seen centipede, I'm not gonna say much now, but it is a spoiler. Go watch centipede and be prepared to have, be disturbed. Yeah, to have terrible nightmares. Okay, because get, getting out of the human mind, I'm trying to think about this as a fly, right? Okay. If I'm a fly, I eat shit. You eat shit? Yeah, so if I'm eating shit, I want the best top quality shit. This is true. So I want to be a fly on the wall in a bathroom of an athlete or a person who has excellent diet, who eats Earthy greens, who eats nuts, the actual nuts, Okay. who eats pure organic meat. So I get a combination of all these proteins, iron. So you're trying to become a, a horse fly now because them fuckers is huge. Yes, but don't they also suck on blood? I don't know, actually. Because they're massive for a different reason. Like those are fuckers you don't want to... Cause they actually fuck with you and just not your shit. I, that I do not know. I killed one the other day. I sprayed the fuck out of it. Good, my man. I said, oh, you want to play around with me? Keep flying in my face? <laughs> I said, wait till you sit down. I was playing the game. That bitch sat down on the wall. I said, dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it, dun That bitch tried to fly. I was following it with it. Spraying the fuck out of me, then that shit dropped, and it was still trying to move. I said, no, bitch, no. Yeah, that bitch was big as hell, too. Okay, so serious question. When you were actually getting closer, was the music in your head getting faster like it should have been? Yeah, it was literally that song. I don't know why, but it was. It was. (laughs) I was spraying the fuck out of it. You know it's so incredible. Your movie references and musical references are really out of this world for <laughs> as little as you have time to partake in enjoying these activities. I, on my off time, I, I watch a lot of movies. Oh, I, I know. I don't, not a lot, but like. But I'm I saying compared movies. to what you used to and what you want to. Yeah, yeah. It's, I would say, yeah. It's impressive. I try. I try. I try to keep as humane as possible, <laughs> you know? you a lot going on. You try to stay as humane as you're playing the Jaws song in your head <laughs> as you're killing a fly. 
Good point. <laughs> good point. I like how you did that. That was a good point right there. I don't know, bro. If I did not know you, that sounds low key Dexter serial killer to me. But hey, what do I know? Speaking of Dexter, I was what happened? I was laughing earlier, and you know Dexter's laboratory, the uh, in his enemy or Mandark. Yeah, Mandark. Yeah. You know his laugh. I did his laugh without even noticing, and then it like sp- like hit me. I can't even remember. It's like ha 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 I really miss the, like our old ass cartoons, dude. Of like course, nineties to early two thousands. Of course, nostalgia plays into our fondness for those shows. Yeah, but unbiasedly speaking, if you go back and you look at those shows in a critical eye, and then you compare them to the shit we have now, there's no comparison. Definitely no. Yo, just. Like, I'm not even going to say animation quality, but the animation style and the variety of the styles. Bro, when you, when you could go from Johnny Bravo to Dexter to Ed, Ed, and Eddie to Courage the Cowardly Dog to... Samurai Jack. Batman the Animated Show, Kids Next Door, Billy and Mandy, the Justice League, Teen Titans Go. Oh, my bad. Nope. Teen Titans. I was about to say, Teen Titans Go can go to hell. Yes. <laughs> yes. I meant to say Teen Titans. <laughs> they can go to hell. <laughs> And not come back. <laughs> yeah. But, yo, every show I just named, it had a different art style, and it had a different color palette. Yeah. If you turn on our show now, they either all have the same color palettes, or they all have the same art styles, if not both. They, When you think about it, all the shows now have that either Family Guy Simpsons animation style, the Rick and Morty animation style, or the Adventure Time type of uh, animation yeah. style. Yeah. And now, recently, they're going into the Teen Titans Go, where they're just simplifying everything. And that is aggravating. That is so aggravating. Teen Titans Go got so big, and I don't understand how. I really don't, because that show is so aggravating. The movies? The movies are okay. They're okay. Not great, but they're okay. Unbiasedly speaking, I, I respect the movies. The show, though... Fucking horrible. It is aggravating. And whoever made the show is also low-key pervs. Well, I'll make the case the people making all the Cartoon Network shows are low-key pervs. (laughs) When you have shows where they're introducing sexuality and they're openly discussing genders and stuff, I'm like, hmm, are you really making a show for entertainment and to help kids pass their time? Or is this low-key brainwashing? That's up to you to decide. It's a, it's a little bit of dab of both. <laughs> you know? And then it's kind of messed up because I would prefer somebody saying, oh, you, your son has a little bit of sugar in his tank. I would prefer that now than my son's confused. Well, this is what I always talk about with music, bro. Even though talking about these topics has always existed, it used to not be so forward and blunt. And yes, as an adult, you want bluntness. But as a kid, you don't want bluntness. Why, Why do you think Pixar movies are so good? Because they're not blunt for kids, but adults understand. So the kid just thinks something, oh, they're talking about sugar. But the adult knows, oh, okay, that type of sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because it's, it's like everything is, like you said, is so gender neutral. It's like my, I'm pretty sure my kid's going to be confused growing up until it actually hits him. Like, oh, at whatever age, I don't know exactly, but I'm saying like whatever age, he's going to be like, oh, okay. Well, this is why. You don't let your kids, this is why you as a parent, when you become one, you will have control of what he or she does and doesn't watch. Sure. That's why, why do you think for so many years, even though I- But I also don't want to be like the asshole parent. Like sometimes, obviously I'm going to be an asshole parent because I'm I'm an asshole in general. But like, I don't also want to be like that parent that's just an asshole all the time. But you don't, you don't have to be, you just, at certain points in your kid's life, you just let them know 
You guide them. You don't you don't force them. You just guide them. You, you, this is true. The, is the true. best type. Of, I remember when we were growing up, we learned the most when we had the option. And then the people we looked up to the most said, you should go down this route. You should pick this choice. But I'm not forcing you to. True. That's true parenting. Now, in certain situations like technology, the kid isn't going to have a choice. Like, I'm not letting a six-year-old have a smartphone. For me, personally, I don't understand that crap. Bro, when we were six years, I know I didn't know you, but I'm pretty sure you were in the same boat as me. I was literally playing with toys and making stuff up in my head. Kids nowadays have no imagination because everything is right there. Yeah. The whole point of being a kid is imagination, which is why this whole sexuality thing is so frustrating just because a kid tells you something doesn't mean they they themselves believe it. So why should you? When when I was a kid, I used to have my my toys make out with each other and fuck. I used to think I was Batman. You know, we used to think we were Pokemon trainers and we had these Pokemon. Did my mom go to the doctor and sit and and tell the doctor my my son wants to be Ash Ketchum? So now from here on out, he's going to dress up like Ash Ketchum. I had a statement after you say this. I'm done. Why the fuck is Ash Ketchum still 10 years old? <laughs> Can we really talk about that? Like, why? Oh, this Pokemon has been out since like the 1990s. This man is still 10 to 13 years old. I'm pretty sure he's still 10. It's like, that does not make any sense. And then in the movie, of two, like the uh, Pokemon movie 2000, he looks about 16. That man is 10. I'll make the case that for most of the movies, he looks older than the show. Exactly, and it's crazy because the new animation of it. I'm, I'm glad you said that. Going back, it's, they keep making it seem like he's actually ten, and then they just released a new movie on Netflix and brought it back to the old animation, and now he looks sixteen again. Wait, what? Yeah, they got a new movie with a new Pokemon. They introduced like a new Pokemon. Uh, I think I've seen. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's about like a jungle. Yeah, it's Pokemon something jungle. But and it has the old animation. It has the old animation. He's like he looks sixteen. Even though the TV shows are still using the new animation, the new one. Oh God! By the way, I, I, I'm glad you segued into this. The new animation for the TV shows is trash. A perfect example they of are. how they're dumbifying everything or simplifying everything, bro. I don't care. I'm not saying the original animated shows had a had this excellent quality animation. But when you compare the two, it's like, wow. Exactly. Exactly. And it's crazy because the old animation of Pokemon compared to the new one, you would have thought the old one was the new one. In terms of the quality. Yeah. yeah. Besides, because now now everything's so clean just because it's digital. But in yeah. terms of the actual quality, I agree with you. Yeah. Like, if you bring that quality with our digital like oh technology now. Oh, my God. It would be so So beautiful. fucking beautiful. But that's what I'm saying. The new Pokemon movie is beautiful because, because it's using the old, the old animation. Mm. And it looks so beautiful. It definitely does. And they, I think they used the original voice of uh, Ash. Oh, good. Because the new, the new voice actors, especially for Ash, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of. But I'm also so confused in it because to I don't be- know how they're doing it. Like... To be fair, though, the new Ash actually sounds like a 10-year-old now, though. If we're being... Yes. Oh, the TV show one, yes. 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 He does. But that's the thing. When the fuck is he going to grow up? This man has been on a, a journey for about 20 years. <laughs> this man has experienced more life than anybody that I know. Well, if we're going get on that, then then you have to get on everything else. Like, if Pikachu went through 20 different regions... This man, Pikachu, is a legendary Pokemon at this point. And it should never lose. Even against its weaknesses. This man is a legendary Pokemon. You know how many skill sets this man... If this was a Pokemon game... Oh, level 1,000. (laughs) Pikachu is a level 100. He has... He has... All his stats maxed out. He has all his stats maxed (laughs) out. This man has learned new moves, deleted old moves. (laughs) Yo... (laughs) And you know how... And how, still is holding items. And you know how you could add move attempts to mm-hmm. so where, like, if your moves only had 10 attempts, there's eight, there's these items that bumped it up to 15, oh, 20. Oh, yeah. Well, though, every single move he has is at 50. 
It's the, like, bro, this man Pikachu is a legendary Pokemon. I'm telling you. And, and it's crazy that Team Rocket is still after him. How? Why? It's like, what's the point? <laughs> well, if we're, if we're going into this, then technically Scooby-Doo and the gang, how are they still teens, young adults? If We can get into this. All right. I am tired of this shit. Well, I, I, I love and Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo. So. Okay, I can understand Scooby-Doo, though. They keep remaking Scooby-Doo. Valid point. I can understand Scooby-Doo. Valid point. They are not remaking Pikachu. And if they are, I mean, I said Pikachu. If they uh, are making, redoing Pokemon, we need to understand that you can't go back and forth. Because they are going back and forth so many times. Yeah. Like, the new, I think in one of the, yeah, in um, the new animation of Pokemon... I think it was what's the latest Sword and Shield. Yeah, I think at one point Misty and Brock came in, and it's like, okay, cool, but then like at another moment, they brought back like a uh, region, like some uh, they brought back some old dude that's like from the very first season <laughs> of Pokemon. Professor Oak. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, and then Professor Oak is related to like one of their teachers or professors that was there. Stop going back and forth, please. You just want consistency. I just want consistency. Exactly. <laughs> and then it's so confusing because sometimes you don't really know, like, if they actually are, like, progressing. Oh, well, you can make the case they never progress because every time they go to a new region, Ash loses to, like, the first gym leader. Exactly. And it's so annoying. You know what else is annoying? <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, guys. I'm ranting uh, on Pokemon. <laughs> but I, I'm pretty sure all the Pokemon fans, if you guys are watching this, I'm pretty sure you guys can relate. But you know what I really hate? When he gets, like, all these nice-ass Pokemons at the end of the season, at the end of the episodes or whatever, he trades them in, and then he just has Pikachu, and he can't fucking get those Pokemon again. It's like, oh, what I- is the point? Yeah, yeah, like when he catches them and he puts them in the pokey, pokey bank. Exactly, or gives them to one of the professors that's in that season. Yeah. He goes to a whole other region or whatever, and, and then, then he, he never uses, never uses them Pokemon again. Which Only is a Pokemon. very bad Pokemon trainer because he's not showing love to his Pokemon. Exactly. This man has over 100 Pokemon. Oh, I'm he probably sure. has over 250, close to 300, when you think about all the regions. Exactly. The only Pokemon he... All reliable... It's Charizard. Yeah, that's the only consistent one. And that's not even in the Poke Bay. Yeah. He got that on the the he got it on the, the Charizard <clears throat> Island. Yeah, where's Sceptile at? Where's Where's Bulbasaur? Where's where's For Alligator? Where's all these Pokemon that you had a close connection with besides just fucking Charizard? Yeah. He had that one Pokemon turn into a mega because he was so close to him. Um Frog the frog one, the frog nin, uh, ninja, nin, I can't remember. Greninja. You, Greninja. He had a had that turn into a, a mega Pokemon because he had a close connection to it. You have not seen him since that championship oh, yeah. uh, championship uh, run. Run. After that, you have not seen that Pokemon. And that's two regions ago now. Hello. I'm so confused. <laughs> that's That's animal abuse. I'm so confused. <laughs> Well, I guess that goes with the show that they have their animals fight each other. So why not just leave them in a digital bank and right away? It makes no sense, man. But it does, bro. It does, but it doesn't. Like, and then it, it doesn't in 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 theory. And but, it aggravates me. I'm sorry. It aggravates me <laughs> that when he calls Professor Oak, and like he calls Professor Oak at least one time in like every a, new episode or new season, or whatever. And all his old Pokemon is in the fucking background. He gets extra hype to talk to them, but never talk to them again. <laughs> he does it at least one time in one season. <laughs> yeah, that's, I would say that's a major plot, one of the many major plot holes of the Pokemon series. I hate Pokemon. <laughs> like, I love it, but I hate it all at the same time. Like, it makes no sense. Well, that's the problem when every new season needs to sell the new video game. That's true. That is true. Because if you're bringing in old Pokemon, people are going to say, hey, why don't I go play the game that has those Pokemon That's rather true. than play with the new Pokemon? 
And as you notice, most of the time, the newer regions get shittier and shittier. I like Sword and Shield, though. Do you like it because of the game or because of the actual new Pokemon? Meaning, would you like Sword and Shield as much if it was that open world graphical style, but in the Hoenn region, in the Kento, in the Sinnoh? Okay. Mmm. I like Sword and Shield because of the actual gameplay. The Pokemon. Mmm. So the truth is a comes seven out, out of ten. I did like some of the Pokemon though. Some of the Pokemon, like the new, like mixtures, I would say. Mixtures, like the new type typings. Yeah, I like the new typings. But do you like the Pokemon? Yeah, I actually did. Majority. I think I I will say I will give it actually an eight out of ten. I didn't like the starters. The starters I didn't really like. That that's that that's the main game. If you fuck up the starters, what's the point? It is. That water type starter was fucking terrible. Which one was that again? Because I the they had like a tadpole. Oh yeah, starting off, and then he like (laughs) turns up. Like his final evolution was some fucking sniper. Bro, I thought that the Hawaii one. What's that? The name of that region? Uh, Allah, Allah, Allah. Yes, I thought those starters were disappointing, and those starters look incredible compared to compared to the new ones. (laughs) Yes. Like, only one I okay. The only one that looks nice, but is actually fucking terrible. It's stat wise. I know exactly which one you're gonna say. The grass one. The yep. grass one looks the best, but it's the weakest. But it's actually the suckiest one. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then the water type one is the tall one. It looks all fancy. Technically, that's the best one, especially when you go with yeah, the like, typing. Uh, attacking wise, I think it is like yeah. special attack or something like that. And but it's it's a psychic too. It's water and psychic. It's water and psychic. Yeah, that's dope. That's that's dope as hell. It is, but at the same time, it's fucking terrible. The best one is the fire one, but it also it's fire. I think it's fire and fighting. Bro, no, I think it's I'm just not. Fire. A, I'm not a fan of the fire one just because compared to the other fire types. Yeah. It's trash. Yeah, it only seems so like cool. po- Pokemon to me. Fire types has always been the strongest. Well, they've at least always been the coolest. Yeah, at least. And like this is, just, it just reminds me of Bugs Bunny, just an adult version. <laughs> I Bro, swear. I'm not a fan of the 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 fire one. And then in the cartoon, in the cartoon, they use Ember, and he uses Ember like a soccer move. That pisses me off. Who the fuck uses a pebble for ember? Oh, really? And he just puts it on fire or something? Yes. He kicks it. He he does an actual how does soccer li- move. How, how, how does it light on fire then? Because he kicks it. And his, <laughs> his feet are fire? He, I don't know. <laughs> he kicks it. And when he kicks it, it goes on fire. No comment. Use ember. I think it's score, score bunny. Score Bunny use Ember. He literally pulls out a pebble, pops it up, kick, kick, and it kicks it extra high. He jumps up and does like a side kick, and it fucking Ember. <laughs> okay, so to, to change this topic, and that's the cartoon one. I have no clue what you're talking about. That. <laughs> did you see the new Batman trailer? Are oh, you talking about the real life one or the video game? No, now I'm talking about the real life one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I watched it one time. What, what's your thoughts? I feel like this movie's going to be terrible. <laughs> Who's the enemy? Riddler. Riddler and Penguin. When the fuck is Mr. Frost going to come back? Or Mr. Freeze. I said Mr. Frost. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think Mr. Frost is a villain for like the Flash, though. When the fuck is Mr. Freeze coming back? <laughs> Mr. Freeze has been absent since like 2000. Since 1997. 1994. 1997. Yeah, okay. With Batman. Bro, could Mr. Freeze would be so cool with today's production values. Exactly. You bring like I don't I don't understand like we keep going past Mr. Freeze when it just makes no fucking sense to me. Well, how about you this? You bring in Penguin. How about well, we get a new villain, Mr. Freeze? How about Clayface? Mm. Clayface's backstory is is low key dope. 
that's who it was. It was Killer Shark or something like that in the second one. Yeah. Supposedly yeah. that film's good. I didn't see it. I haven't seen a movie in theaters. It's yet. not bad, but it's not good. Compared to the first one, it's not good. Really? Yeah. So you're a fan of the first one? Yeah. Then I I, I completely trust your, your fan. And then bro. they having a fucking spinoff with John Cena. Oh, bro. I saw the trailer. That Is it shit, a TV show? It's a TV show? Yeah. That shit looks terrible. And it's like, why would they do that? Is it just because he's John Cena? Yeah. Who the fuck is the Peacemaker? I never heard of this Bro, fucking guy. If you did not like his character in the film... I did not. Watch the trailer. I watched the trailer. Oh, okay, so you know... It's horrible. Bro, I didn't even see the film, and I just watched the trailer of that TV show, and I'm, I'm thinking, this is going to be bad. Bro, if nobody knows the Peacemaker, they're definitely not going to know the other people that was mentioned in that show. I don't even know... It's fucking horrible, bro. It's fucking horrible. I didn't know John Cena was that big of a star to demand a TV show nowadays. Well, to be fair, you ever notice that when somebody blows up, it's just not one film. They blow up at the same time with a whole bunch of... This man went from Fast and Furious to the fucking commercial with the cow. Experian! <laughs> <laughs> went to that. Yo, he's in a few commercials now. Exactly. And it's probably because of Fast and Furious. We are now getting stuff for everything just because of IP sake. Yeah. And I because what I'm trying to say is now, oh, we have John Cena. Oh, we have him playing a DC character. Oh, we have HBO Max and we need contact. Let's make a peacemaker TV show. When before people would actually sit down and think, hmm, does this show have potential to be good? No. Are people interested in this? No. I'm not. <laughs> so let's not green light this. Like for me, I want to know how do you green light this, but then you don't green light some sequels where the film actually deserved a sequel that was actually good and it had a nice possibility for a sequel where you could actually expand a universe or a world that people were actually interested in. True. I don't I also <clears throat> I don't know how they're gonna if if they even are. I don't know how they're going to continue Suicide Squad. Oh, bro, that film made so little money. We're never hearing about Suicide Squad again. And Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn is donezo. Because her past two films have flopped. For real? Yeah, the, the Birds of Prey, that film did not do good. I think they're actually talking about doing another movie for that. Well, if they are, it's going straight to HBO Max because that's just not being released in theaters. I believe it. Because the new Batgirl movie, it was supposed to be a theater film, is straight to HBO Max. So you can already guarantee that's going to be a shit show. I think that actually might be good, though. It might. But whenever anything skips theaters, I'm always iffy. Just because... Well, the movie... What's that movie with... uh The new movie that just came out, Dun, Dunny? Doom. Doom. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, I'm laughing because if nobody knows the source material and they've never seen anything about Dune, I wouldn't. If somebody said Dunny, I'm like, yeah, Dunny. Yeah, what's up, Dunny? <laughs> so Dune, <laughs> yes, Dune. Dune is actually on HBO Max. Yeah, but it's also in theaters. Exactly. But no, but what I'm trying to say is. That film was made for theaters, and because Warner Brothers was scared about the pandemic and were, were being little bitches, they released they, it. I don't know why people still say it's a p- pandemic. We're a whole year past. We're 18 months. Like, what the fuck pandemic are we in? There's no restrictions <laughs> on bars. There's no restrictions on movie theaters. What pandemic are we in? Well, depending on the state, you... you or depending on the city, you need to actually show your vaccine card to get into. Which I also think is bullshit. Because <laughs> remember when they said that was, oh, you don't have to ask for it. Oh, you don't have to show it. If you ask for it, you might get in trouble. But now all of a sudden it's a fucking mandate, like mandated thing. That doesn't make any fucking sense. The government, once again, make up your fucking mind. Well, can I ask you this question and tell me what makes sense? Bitches. Why are certain government officials saying that it is unconstitutional to have to show your ID to vote, 
but it is constitutional to show a vaccine passport to get into a store or a bar. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna leave the comments up to you guys. Comment below on what you guys feel about that because I can. We can talk about this all fucking day. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. So, how do you feel, guys, about it? Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow this. We not done. I'm just saying. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that and bell. follow, and hit that bell and comment. But yeah, I don't get it. I don't fucking understand. Bro, by the way, I was not going to bring that up, but you naturally brought it into the conversation. So I just had to ask the question. It's it's fine. <laughs> we we w- switched like twenty topics already. Went from Pokemon to talking about DC? Suicide Squad. <laughs> it's fine. If you really want to get into it, also, I'm so happy. The Rock is fucking Black Adam. Oh yeah, that. I am so happy. That is a perfect example where the actor actually is the character exactly i am so happy on that so happy and you already know if that film does well which most likely it will because of the character and the individual playing the character Mm -hmm. they're going to do a mashup film between shazam and iris shazam is already in it if he's not in it he's going to be like the probably like the the post credits okay i think that's more realistic because why why put him in the first one when you can lead up to... Yeah. And I'm pretty th- sure he was going to be in the post-credits. Yo, dude, Black Adam is low-key dope as hell. Black Adam, he had his own agenda, but, like, Black Adam was literally one of the strongest people. And don't one forget... One of the strongest villains. Since he's magic, he has the one of two weaknesses for Superman. That man punched Superman <laughs> in the chest and had the big-ass black mark on his butt. <laughs> Bro, can you imagine... Beat the shit out of Superman. <laughs> a film... With the actor they have for Shazam, Dwayne Johnson as Black Adam, and then Henry Cavill as Superman. That would be amazing. Oh, it really would. It's going to be amazing. You know what's not going to be amazing? You know what I'm about to say. Tell me. This fucking new Batman. (laughs) You just hate Robert Patterson. I don't hate him. No, no, I'm saying as Batman. I hate him as Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I do not hate him. You cannot bring Mr. <laughs> Twinkle Toe. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm about to say. You cannot bring Mr. Shine in the Light <laughs> to Yo. something this this dark. Well, for me, he just doesn't... See, to be... Actually, I disagree with you. I think he's a great... Batman. He is a shitty Bruce Wayne. Okay. Bro. I have to see this movie. Well, again, I'm just saying I'm physically just... speaking. I I've never seen an ugly I'm I'm not saying he's ugly. He is just not Bruce Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> he's not Bruce Wayne. Them bushy ass eyebrows. <laughs> His pale ass skin, bro. He I hopefully hopefully he got a tan in this movie. For this movie. Oh no! Obviously, he hasn't. Did you see the one? You might have missed it, but in the trailer, no. He's at. He might be more pale in this film than he was as a vampire. We was better off with Jason Statham <laughs> as fucking Batman. All right, I'd rather see him as fucking Batman than this guy. And Jason Statham is old. I wouldn't say old, but he's, he's, he's matured, very matured. Yo, how would he look with with an implant of hair or like nope. a, a good wig? Do you nope. think? <laughs> Nope. Okay, so serious question: Would you <laughs> would you rather see Robert Patterson as Bruce Wayne or Jason Statham with a wig as Bruce Wayne? Neither. <laughs> Jason Statham. At this point, I would too. I would definitely see him with like, but like, give him like a, a low one, not like a high. Oh no, no! Like you give him a high one, that shit might flap off. <laughs> <laughs> but give him like a low one Give him a nice little cut Like a nice little swoosh With the with a nice little swoosh to the side You know so he can, so oh, he can flip it Oh no bro that's so bad Not like a big swoosh <laughs> Not like Superman <laughs> But like so Like so like, like, mm, like, Nope never mind I'm about to say the guy that plays uh, white uh, witch, The witch hunter but that's Superman Yeah that, that's, that's Henry completely Gap. Superman <laughs> Never mind I'm trying to think who could be See, Batman. See, even your even your subconscious was thinking about Superman. Yeah, yeah. 
But I'm trying to think, like, who could be Batman, like, modern-day Batman right now? And everybody that I'm thinking of is already picked for something good. Well, this is the thing, too. Are we talking about Batman or Bruce Wayne? Because if we're talking about Bruce Wayne, then the pool is limited. If we're talking about Batman... Can we pull somebody from Marvel to become Batman? No. No, fuck that. But the guy that's playing Captain America, yes, he can do it. He can do it. He can do it. He can... You know what? I just don't like I'm that. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I, and then I think it's not even like after a while, like, you know, when he gets to the older one, he, he doesn't even... He don't, he don't even claim the Batman name anymore. He'd be like, I'm vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> you killed Tom. <laughs> you killed my boy. Joker, you gotta go. And then he just, you know, and then he start using a gun. My man just start shooting niggas. <laughs> niggas say, oh, you wanna be a bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> he rapple you up, tie you up by your feet, and Yo. beat the shit out you. <laughs> Ben Affleck was a great fucking Batman, bro. He was literally doing Batman Arkham whooping people's ass. Yeah. Yeah. But no. See, this is what I'm talking about, bro. Everybody's says- like, he was becoming the older Batman. But but this is my thing. How many years did we hear, oh, we're getting the same Batman. It's the same Batman. It's the same Batman. And then we finally get a Batman who's literally freaking tatting people with his symbol and then killing them. And it's like, oh, this ain't Batman. This ain't Batman. So what is it? Do you want a different Batman or do you want the same Batman? Because you can't have it both ways. I don't listen. That's the same thing with Superman. How everybody for the longest time was saying, oh, Superman's a bitch. He only goes by his code. He doesn't kill anybody. He's blah, blah, blah. He's a pussy. And then we come, we, we get the Henry Cavill Superman and he kills a, a few thousand people by trying to save the world because he's fighting in <laughs> Metropolis oh, yeah. and everybody's like, whoa, 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 what is Superman doing? He's killing people. You guys just said Superman is too bitch. And now when he's doing something that is actually humane, because when people fight wars, people die. That's just the way life works. What happens? They complain that he kills. It's just, it's very complicated. Oh, yeah, it is. Because people think that in order to, they they believe that when you change their world, that you can do it in a way where there's no chaos, there's no death, there's no negative effects. And that's just not how it is. Not at all. Not at all. I don't know. Hopefully they figure something out. But uh, I got something on my mind. Have you noticed... Everything is about to be multiverse. <laughs> oh, well. Marvel? They're stuck on multiverse. <laughs> They've been stuck on multiverse for a minute. If everything goes according to plan, they will have three straight films about the multiverse. Spider-Man, Thor, and then Doctor Strange. And Venom. Yeah, but Venom, for now, is only Sony. Yes. I don't want to say it. Guys, it is a spoiler, but I don't want to say it. Have you seen Venom? The new the one? second one? No, but I'm assuming something in the after credit scene. Yep, I, I read about it, and once I found out that something was going to be spoiled, I just stopped reading. So, yeah. shut your mouth, yeah. kind sir. So, I'm assuming Can I because... Can say this without actually saying a part in the movie? Yes. I'm assuming it's part of the multiverse now because you just brought it up. Yeah. So, let me change that. Four straight films. Yeah. I will say... Venom will be a part of MCU. Lovely. I'm so fucking sick of the MCU, bro. (laughs) So, Sony... Well, Sony and MCU are already partnered, I believe. Yeah, yeah, they are. So, that's why they're going to be... Oh, and bro, when your first film makes 800 plus million dollars... It was guaranteed Venom was going to be a part of the MCU. Yeah. Because, bro, think about it. For the third Venom film, have MCU, ben- time out. MCU is assholes. First off, they said, <laughs> they like, oh, yeah, Sony, we control you, but you want to make the Venom movie? Go ahead, but do, do it on your own. <laughs> and then it makes $800 million. It's, it's like, like, oh, come back. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Bro, it's like, it's, it's, 
more or less the situation where you dump your girl because she's not doing anything with her life and then six months later she loses 20 pounds she has a, a Damn, job where girl you looking fine i ain't see you in a minute come here you girl, girl? You know i missed you <laughs> <laughs> like dang what what you been eating whatever you been eating it's been going good how often you working <laughs> out wait 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 you said you're making 80k a year god damn you got a crazy upgrade <laughs> but i'm just saying man i miss you man I, no damn well he ain't think about her at all so you <laughs> see her. but damn girl you know i miss you yo man. there hasn't been a day where i haven't thought about you exactly, haven't thought about I mean, how much i missed you even yeah, though wait. you're the one who broke up with her exactly and you know when you used to do that thing for me i mean i mean like how can i forget <laughs> <laughs> exactly and then all of a sudden she wrapped up in your arms and you like yeah yeah got that bitch back <laughs> and then the crazy thing is you get her so hooked up and then you fucking treat her the same way you treated her before. <laughs> and it's like, damn. That's a toxic circle that hopefully the woman broke. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. By the way, that could go both ways, too. Yeah. Females do that to men all the time. All the time. All the time. But yeah, back to the MCU. But yeah, <laughs> you know. Someone, uh, you this, yo, dude, I just imagine him talking to his friend saying, yeah, that dumbass bitch. I got her back. Right yeah, where she I don't wanna. even know it, but she should. Sure, she look, she amazing right now. She paying my bills. Yeah, exactly. She paying my bills. She keeping it tight for me. Yeah, I love that bitch. And she don't even know I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> don't even know. But yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Go back. Back to the. MC. But yeah, MCU. They know what the fuck they're doing. But also, I'm saying when I say everything is multiverse, DC. They're going they're doing it with Flash. Bro, see, I, I know they're doing it with the Flash, but I wish we just got a Flash film that was a Flash film first, and then the sequel was Flashpoint. Yes. I really did wish that, too. Not going to lie, but they're they're trying to keep up with I know, fucking bro, MCU, and it's, fucking it's aggravating. It is. Dude, it's yeah. so annoying. Because it, as much as I love Batman versus Superman, there's no denying they rushed that. You were supposed to make a Batman with Ben Affleck first yeah. and then make the film where they clash. Yeah. Of course people didn't care about Ben Affleck's Batman because he just put into the sequel of Superman's film. Yeah. And then I feel like the only one they did right was Wonder Woman. Yeah, until the sequel. Yeah, the sequel was shit. Yep. Cheat. Also, Cheat. What's her name? Cheetah. Cheetah. It looked terrible. She was horrible, but like they also took her power away like really fucking fast. Bro, just that film I was not a fan of. Like, what the fuck? Jordan was right when he said the first 10 minutes piss you off. Just from a logical perspective, it just... Yeah. No bueno. No bueno. I just want to say I apologize on Conscious's behalf for the previous episode. Okay. Don't say it to me. Say it to them. <laughs> he apologizes, guys. Because that was very unprofessional. So where this is leading, take away the raising of the voice and the tone of Conscious's voice. I thought that his points were valid, yet for some reason, they weren't connecting. So... As a brother and as a partner of Rhinos and Aliens, mm -hmm. how could Conscience have asked or made those statements, asked those questions and made those statements more clear to where our guests could have understood where, constant, where Conscience was coming from and the points he was trying to make? I would say, I think in that episode, Conscience led with emotion. Do you think so, like or do you think emotion and logic? Okay, and I'm not disagreeing with that statement because it was both. Yeah, it was like logical, but also like you were just leading with emotion. Also, though, well, was it he was leading with emotion, or was it initially very small? Initially, <sighs> it was logic, and then it immediately turned emotional, like. It was, I would say it was very emotional because you knew logically 
Oh, that's what what was the actual like, cor- correct. correct way or correct response response. All right, yeah. But emotionally, you was getting or conscience was getting into it because logically, it just didn't make sense. That is, I can't. That makes. I agree. <laughs> so I would say, keep it logical, but just don't let the emotion come take in. over. Yeah, like there's nothing wrong with having some emotion coming in. It makes great for content <laughs> but when the mics say, work. Yeah, you know, but at the same time, it can't get that high. Yeah, we do have to keep a professional look. Yeah, yeah. No, because I'm just trying to think. The whole point of a podcast is to to listen to a different perspective. Exactly. But not all perspectives are correct, unbiasedly speaking. This is true. But everybody has their own opinion. Yes. So <clears throat> I just, I'm trying to figure out a way that for listeners as, and then obviously guess when there is a, a different, a different opinion, if we 100% know that our quote unquote opinion is correct how we can non emotionally let them at least respect and see the other side even if they don't agree with it cuz you could you could look at something and say 2 plus 2 is 4 you don't have to like it but you have to respect it type of thing exactly so, i i would say for us we need to stop and actually listen i would say that if you don't agree with it, then we can we need to just move make, on. Yeah, let it either be known and be like, you know, you have your own opinion. <laughs> Cuz at the same time, we don't want to say like you're stupid. <laughs> we can't just say that. <laughs> we can't be like, hey, you're just whatever. Your your answer just doesn't make sense, whatever. But at the same time, we we can't also be like we can't just let it pass. Because sometimes we do need to correct people. Like we need you to realize what we can't you're be pushovers. Exactly, we need you to realize what you're saying is not correct. Yeah, but we do need to put it in a a different manner. I yeah. would say, and that's where the professionalism comes in. Exactly. So, that's why I kept saying, like, do you really think, like, because when he, like, I, I guess when he was saying, um, he he thinks Tom Brady. And LeBron was in the same, in the same boat. No, no, no. He thought he, Tom, Tom Brady, Brady and MJ yes. was in the same boat. And Only like, because of, of the ring, of the rings. But then when he tried to, to <clears throat> describe each one of them, he used completely different. Yeah, and when I broke it down, he kind of understood but what then, I was saying. But then he went back to exactly sooner or later he did go back. But he, when I broke it down, he mainly understood what I was saying when yeah. I said um, MJ. Took their took his team to the finals instead of leading his team to the finals. He Carried, understood specifically that. carried. Yeah, he understood that because there is a difference in sports. It is, it is. <laughs> no, it time. is. Yeah. And then when I said, also said he under uh, he also understood when I said his teammates hated him but they respected him. Yeah, which we always emphasize. There's a difference between respect and how you like somebody. Exactly. So he understood it, but at the same time, it. All led back to him with the rings. Rings is what gets them whatever. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> what? I, but what I was saying is like we have to simplify it down. Now I wouldn't even say simplify it because that's kind of rude to say. But I would say we just have to make it more, make it more for them to understand. Yes, but at the end of the day, if uh, if. A person, be a guest or a listener, just doesn't want to hear what you're saying, then... Then we just have to move on. Yeah, I agree. We do. I just wanted to put that out there because we never... I know we talked about it after, but it was more so just like me. A brief. Yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to... Because I'm actually... You're my partner and I really... I'm interested in how you're... Because obviously whenever I do something wrong or conscience does something wrong, I and they know... Yeah. It's just that sometimes in the moment, for a multitude of factors, shit happens. Sure. We're human, and we're, we're, we're this universal being. So, 
Who knows? But true. we make shit happen. <laughs> <laughs> And now we be having these set for episodes just to rant, I feel like. And that's totally fine with me. We should just call it ranting rhinos. <laughs> you know? Actually, that would be a great t shirt, bro. Two rhinos going head to head. Yeah. And then and then instead of the instead of them like because in the picture it could look like them fighting, but like we can just put ranting rhinos because they, technically they're probably just also having a conversation. Well, I was going to say there's so many ways you could go about it. You could put the actual wording on the back, ranting rhinos with the image on the front. Or you could do the vice versa, ranting rhinos on the front. And Guys, we need people who do graphic designing for t-shirts. Or not. Is it graphic designing? No. Printing, basically. But like we also need like actual picturing like people, we need somebody to images, yeah, like Imagery. images and all this. So, like, if you guys know designers, it's, yeah, designers. Yeah. If you guys actually know somebody, please comment below, tag them, or send it to us on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Inbox it to us, DM us anything. We we take suggestions. We'll definitely look them up, see what we like, and we'll hit them up if we can. You know, the, it's definitely easier if you guys know somebody, and you guys can suggest them to us. So please do that in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow. And hit that bell. And hit that bell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're toxic. That's for I, sure. I be trying to tell people. People just don't listen. Bro, see, this is the thing that pisses me off. Every single time I boast about you, they think, oh, they're Don trying to... bullshitting. Or, or Francis is a bullshit. Yeah, dude, Francis is trying to lift up Don Yo because he's having a bad day. No, I don't have to lift <laughs> Don Yo up in this situation. Yeah, I'm lifting Don Yo up when I'm saying, yo, bro, you killed it today. You were the comedy genius, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm lifting you there because you need it. Down there, bro, you never did, <laughs> never will. I'm mean, trying to tell... Listen, I'm giving... F- nope. Bro, I be trying to tell warnings. people. I be trying to tell people. I'm giving females fair warnings. You don't get the anaconda definition, the anaconda nickname for no reason. And by the way, I'm just not talking about size. Anacondas are brutal. They're savages. When they go after their prey, there is no letting go. When they go after their prey, there's 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 two endings. The, the anaconda way- is dying. I should put this on a t-shirt also. Or the prey is. When an anaconda bites you, best believe you're taking the poison. Venom. You, nah, you got to get that poison. I'm toxic. No, 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 no. But, but, but well, poison, venom is also toxic. Also. But, but poison is soaked through the skin. Mm, by touch. Yeah. Venom is a, a, a type of toxin where it, it, it can only go in the person through injection. Mm. Which has a double meaning because just like a snake, which kills its prey by injecting it with its toxin, you are killing your prey by injecting it with this dick. (laughs) (laughs) This dick. All right, but on that note, I don't really have you got anything else to say, my man. No, this was a. I I had a lot of notes. Politically, but the way the episode went, I don't want to bring it down. It was. I mean, we can always hit those on another day. No, no, that's what I was going to. That's what I was going to do. We we had our nice little COVID jab. So, but just to wrap up what we was basically talking about, um, I would say, Pokemon, <laughs> get your shit together. <laughs> we need we need Pokemon to get your shit together. Also, cartoons, pick up your shit too. All right, we're we're tired of this simplifying cartoons. We're tired of it and hidden and and hidden agendas. Yes, we're we're over it. I just want you to know this multiverse. <laughs> You're really gonna go through. It. I'm surprised you remember everything we talked. About. <laughs> multiverse. Uh take your time. I know that makes. I know it's ironic considering. Multiverses is in different times, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I need you guys to take your time with dealing with time. <laughs> How about this? Whenever anybody's trying to tell a nice, deep narrative, take your time. Exactly. Especially when it's as complicated as a multiverse. Exactly. 
Like, I understand you want to hurry up and get your, your money. That's fine. But Marvel is doing a way better job than DC. I can tell you that now. That's from the perspective we're talking about. Yes. 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 I, that's all I'm saying. Batman. Get your shit together. I really hope this movie is better than what it, it what it says and what it's giving. What's his name? What's the Batman? What? Robert Patterson. Robert Patterson. Twilight <laughs> is over. <laughs> All right. Twilight is over. So I need you to actually pull this Batman string out your ass <laughs> and do what the fuck you're supposed to do. Because if not, I'm done talking. I promise. But for the final guys, make sure we're going to do this five rhino thrust. Oh, bro, I've missed <laughs> this. Number one, make sure you guys like this video. Mm-hmm. Number two, make sure you subscribe. Yes, it's please. It's free. I pr- guarantee you everything I'm about to say is free. Yes. Number three, make sure you guys hit that bell. Ring a ding ding, baby. So you get all of our notifications for whenever we post a video. You want to you, you wanna stay on top of time with us. All right, guys. Come on, man. Just tap in. Yeah. Tap Number in. four, make sure you guys comment on this video, or you can comment on any other video. I thought comment was last. It might be. It might be. I, I'm so sorry, guys. I haven't <laughs> done this in a while. <laughs> Number four, <laughs> make sure you guys share on every social media. We want to share to your mama, your grandmother, your father, your parents, your dog, your cat, your baby that's barely walking. <laughs> Everybody, your cat, pass it to the squirrel. You know the squirrels always pass out nuts. Anyone who has a cat. <laughs> <laughs> they, might, they might pass out intels with these nuts. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> the number five. <laughs> but yeah, number four. Also, we are on, like I said before, Facebook, Twitter, oh, yeah. Instagram. And also, we are on Locals. Where if you want to help support us so we can branch out and yes. do other things that we have in mind and also you guys can also try to help with the equipment i'm just saying you want better quality music and voices and shit to help us up but uh, <laughs> also at number five make sure you guys comment on this video like i said we need designers we need graphic designers we need all of that what are your bus. thoughts about pokemon thoughts about dc thoughts about comic books the thoughts multiverse. about the film industry thoughts about life thoughts about rhinos and aliens what we should and should it do blah 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 etc etc give us some pros and cons that you guys like what we do and what we don't do yeah but constructive cr- criticism yeah, stuff like that is asshole your- shit or realistic, because if you start saying, oh, start going around the world and, and vlogging, obviously, we're, we're broke. <laughs> obviously. We're, we're still stuck with the same equipment. Come on, man. Just, just give us some time. I can do it. Don't get me wrong. I can do it. But it just won't be the, the quality that you want. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and on that note, I love you, brother. L-O-P-H. Love you, love you too, my man. Kadoodle. Just a friendly reminder, guys. Hit the subscribe button in this corner, and then for the newest video, then for the most recommended, and then for our famous dick pic.